Hi everybody, it's Miss Jenikin. For today's Fun Friday Read Aloud, we have There's a Giraffe in My Soup by Ross Baroch. I love this book so much because it does something really cool that authors like to do sometimes. And that is use bold, capital, and colorful letters um, in the words to make them stand out and to um, show importance in a certain way. So as we read, you're gonna see a lot of the words and sentences might be bolded, which means they're really extra dark, or they might be in all capitals or in a color or really small. Um, so for today's Fun Friday Read Aloud, this is There's a Giraffe in My Soup by Ross Baroch. Excuse me, waiter. There's a giraffe in my soup. That, this is a fine restaurant, sir. That simply cannot be. Do you see how the author used bold and colorful letters to make it stand out to show that it's important? There's a giraffe in my soup. And then this font is all slanty to kind of show that this guy's talking in a fancy way, which is why I said it that way. This is a fine restaurant, sir. That simply cannot be. <laughs> giraffe in your soup. A new bowl of soup for you right away. Here you are, sir. A fresh bowl of soup. Minus the giraffe, of course. Bon appetit. Hello, little frog. How did you get in my soup? Please hurry, my soup is trying to eat me. Wow, look at all those co colorful and bolded words. You see how the author chose to use green when talking about frogs and alligators, but before they used orange to talk about the giraffe? You could do that in your writing too. Ooh, and then the waiter over here says, a new chomp bowl of soup for you. Chomp right away. Chomp, chomp. They're even slanted to show detail that it actually shows chomp, chomp. Here you are, sir. A new bowl of soup. Alligator free. Enjoy. Waiter, waiter. Save her, save her. Please hurry. There's an elephant in my soup, and I don't think she can swim. <laughs> Waiter, waiter, hurry back. Yak, yak, yak. Yuck, yuck, yuck. You see the waiter asking, yuck, yuck, yuck? Is that what you said? Did he say yuck or yak? <laughs> yuck. This symbol right here is a question mark and it's showing a question. Doesn't he look like he doesn't know? Hmm, it shows question. I don't know. Oh, yak, yuck. <laughs> Walrus! Ostrich! Shh, koala! Snake! Burp! Whale! Do you see how the author made the words different to show different meaning and detail? Wow, so fun. Uh, can you just eat around it? He's thinking. Do you see the little thinking bubble? Looks like a little cloud, right? That's what's going through his brain. Ugh, couldn't he just eat around it? He's pushing the whale out of the way. <laughs> Here, at last your soup, roaring with flavor. La, la, lion, lion! You see how they use the dots to make it stretch out? L, l, lion, lion, lion! 
Lying? Lying, lying? Enough of your complaints. Sure, I made a minor gaffe of the giraffe. Maybe I overlooked a whale. But when it comes to taste, I am a professional. Do not accuse me of... Lion! Why didn't you say something? <laughs> Look, he's using the cover as a shield. Oh, no. I am terribly sorry, sir. It seems there's been sl a slight mix-up. The zoo was sent our food, and we were sent their animals. Let's skip the soup. Maybe dessert? Dessert is our treat. One moose with a cherry on top. Oh, never mind. I'm eating somewhere else. <laughs> See, because it's a moose, the animal. But the word says moose, like the kind of dessert that you might have. Wait for me! Where's the little boy following the animals to? Does the sign say? The zoo. <laughs> Table for one. Wow, look at the detail on that picture. <laughs> Well, this has been There's a Giraffe in My Soup by Ross Baratch. Happy Friday, everybody.